Hi guys, we just came back from the garden and I'm going to have lunch and then go and clean our rug because it needs a bit of cleaning and it doesn't fit in a washer so we're going to take it to the town and while we are there we're also going to visit uh, Weihnachtsmarkt or uh, Christmas market and um, yeah so everything is a bit messy but last week we made this big closet over there there's still some Halloween decorations on and we also installed the shelf over there so you'll see how we'll take care of it and decorate it a bit this one the first thing that we did was to vacuum the entire rug and then we simply packaged it and took it to us to the town this all happened on the first weekend of Advent, but I simply had no time to do any videos lately. I was planning to do one video per week, but yeah, life got in the way. When we were back from the uh, town with the clean rug, I cleared up the area of the furniture and also I had the package that was laying around there with some for my knitting project that I'm currently working on. Then I vacuumed everything up so that the floors were nice and clean and there was no lingering cat hair around. Because yeah, you know, the life of the cat owner includes a whole bunch of cat hair lying around all the time. When the floor was cleaned, I pushed the table away so that it doesn't get in the way and I stretched out the mat that goes underneath the rug and keeps it from slipping. Now this mat has a rubber bottom that prevents it from slipping but it also makes it just gather a whole bunch of dust and also the breadcrumbs and everything that's basically falls down from the table and is dusty in consistency will end up on the other side of the mat. When the underside was cleaned I also cleaned the top side because of course my cat had to snoop around and there were some cat hair lying around. After that I rolled up my rug into one nice long roll and then I simply unrolled it to fit the mat. Now this is the method that so far has been the easiest way to roll this rug on its uh, bottom mat and once that I roll it out the only thing that's left for me to do is to simply tuck in the corners into their pockets and that's it I'm done after my rug was done I removed the decorations from the light fixture since the rug was still slightly moist we opted not to put the table until the morning next day. So I removed the decorations from the lighting fixture and also decorated it afterwards. Now, um, I don't put up the Yule decorations until the first week of Advent. The first weekend to be exact because it's I enjoy the Halloween decor and I like to enjoy it as much as possible and I do think it's a bit too early even though if you ask me Yuletide should be all year round <laughs> but still I cleaned the lighting fixture with just my microfiber cloth and my homemade uh, cleaning liquid When the light was clean, I proceeded with the decorations because, well, the table was not in the way, so it seemed like a good thing to do. 
Now for this I opted to decorate it by making our little um, Yule village atop. I used the little houses that were actually packages for chocolates in the last two years. And uh, so my husband has sacrificed himself dearly by eating all of the chocolates so that we could use the little houses. Uh, these are super easy to, to put up because they just fold in on themselves when you are not using them. And then when you want to use them, you fold them out and that's it. They are not sturdy and they are already starting to fall apart after two, two years, but in a year or two I will create something similar out of wood so that it's a bit more permanent. But for now, this is working just fine. I I love them, they're just they're just looking so festive to me. When the houses were done, I added the little trees that I bought in IKEA that were just the perfect size. I did want to remove the pot, but when I put the trees off with their pot, it, it ended up not bothering me that you could see the pot slightly. And the last thing that I did was to put some colorful lights on. Unfortunately, these lights broke in a couple of days, so we had to replace them, but it looks nice. The next area of interest was this big window over here. Now my husband has been wanting me to put up the lights on this window for quite a while. So I first just did a small clean up of the inside of the window and then I proceeded with adding the lights. Since this and upcoming weeks it was raining heavy outside. It did not make any sense to wipe the outside of the window as well. I'm just going to do this a couple of days before Christmas because I have the need to have all of the windows clean before you. I don't know why, it's just something that I need to do. When the lights were up and I managed to adjust the settings and to find the program that I like, I wanted to hide the little white wire that was so visible on our dark window and for this I bought some jute or hessian ribbon in the dark green color and I also bought some artificial poinsettias that we removed from their uh, plastic twigs and then put them on some wire florist wire that we could loop and we could use this wire to attach both the ribbon with the little flower on the command strips that we're using for the lighting. By this time it was already super late and this was super fiddly so my camera went out and when we were done with the decorations at the top of the window we went for a good night's sleep. I continued working on the decor the next day. Thank you for watching and see you on the day two.